peanut butter woofy cookies. That's what Cheryl's making today. Woofy because, well, they're for dogs. Cheryl will read the ingredients off as she's putting them into the mixing bowl. But Abby the Wonder Mite loves these cookies. And remember Brandy the other Wonder Mite? She's getting bigger. But she hasn't tasted these yet. But she also hasn't kiked any 4,000 footers. We bring these cookies with us when we uh, hike because they're nutritious and all natural. So, let's get mixing. So today we're making peanut butter woofy cookies. These do not have any preservatives in them, so I like to give them to our pups. Um, so it starts off, you need five cups of whole wheat flour. And you're supposed to put them in the order that is read on the recipe. You can use one cup of brewer's yeast, or you can substitute one cup of cornmeal, yellow cornmeal, two teaspoons of honey, and I tend to just go a little bit over on the honey, because it tastes good and it can't hurt. I kind of mixed up this recipe and added peanut butter to it. It's an original recipe that I had from years ago, and I decided to change it up again. So I put two-thirds cup of peanut butter, a half a teaspoon of salt, two tablespoons of dried parsley, two eggs, cup of canola oil. Canola oil is fairly good for dogs. I believe it's good for the urinary tract infections and things like that. And a cup of milk. And this will get all mixed together for a bit to make your cookies. Start it off slowly. gradually increase your speed. It's a little bit noisy, so we'll let that mix up, and when it's done, we'll come back. Okay, so our batter is completely done, and just have to get it out. Hey, did you get this recipe from Julia Charles? <laughs> to make meatloaf a nice ball by kneading it together it says you have to knead it for three minutes but I find with the KitchenAid that a lot of the kneading gets done so we're gonna make a round circle and then we're gonna roll them out roll this out to be about a quarter of an inch thick And I find you don't even have to put flour on the counter because of the oils that are in it. So I've rolled it out to be about a quarter inch thick. And you can use whatever cookie cutters you want. If you happen to have a doggy cookie cookie cutter, which I don't have, um, that would probably be a great thing. And you just cut them out, just like regular cookies. You're going to set your oven to 300 degrees and you'll bake the cookies on each side for 25 minutes and it's more less baking than drying out the cookies so that they're hard i've got some of my shapes i'm going to put them on my pan and then once that's done i'm going to roll out the excess and just keep cutting them until I run out of dough. Usually my last one ends up a circle flattened. That's usually Abby's little treat. So now we're ready to put them in the oven. Our oven's up to 300 degrees. Our dog is right underneath it. <laughs> and I put the bigger cookies at the bottom and I made some smaller cookies. Um, these are more for the trail. I just put them in little Ziploc bags so I can feed them to the pups. And we will set our microwave to 25 minutes. 
and we'll come back and flip them over. So it's been 25 minutes and it's time to flip the cookies. You can see they're not nearly done, but they're a little bit toasty on the other side. So our timer went off, our cookies are done. peanut butter wolfie cookies. So we're going to let them cool down for a bit and just so that they get room temperature and then we'll let the girls try them out. Okay, so Abby the one to mutt and Brandy the other one to mutt are patiently waiting to try these wolfie treats. Is it pretty? Brandy? Is it pretty? Can you do it? Nope, but I'm going to take the cookie. I think they like them. It seems to be a success. Well, that's it from Cheryl's Kitchen. Anything you want to say? The end. <laughs>